I was trying to protect our family. That is such a tired, is tired it? excuse. Let's pause there. A marriage is only as good as its trust. Really ugly. Sometimes I think you forget who you're talking to. It's back, ladies and gentlemen. Ozark season three, and we're gonna cover episode one in this video. And if you are a big fan of the Ozarks, in the comment section, I want you to give me a hell yeah in my best Stone Cold Steve Austin's voice. I'm gonna try to break down each episode as quickly as possible, and I'm gonna do this over the course of about 10 days, because what else the hell are we doing when you're supposed to be home on quarantine with the coronavirus pandemic going on in the background? If you're finding me for the first time, please subscribe to this channel. Be sure to turn on those notifications. Hit me on Instagram if you have video requests, and the link for the podcast is also in the video description as well as the pinned comment. You lie to your wife. You lie to me. And you lie to yourself. What do you want? This first episode of season three, ladies and gentlemen, started off with a literal bang. In the beginning, you come into this episode seeing someone who's supposed to be delivering a package or something, stab somebody in the hand, goes into the back room where they're laundering their money and blows up that whole entire facility. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you're squeamish, if you can't take stuff being blown up and guts flying all over the place, I would suggest you skip past that first five minutes. This is something that the Ozark does so well in pretty much every episode. They get you enthralled within the first five minutes. And this was a great banger to open up season number three, where we're seeing that the cartel bosses are under attack, under assault, they're at war. And they also introduced Tommy from Power, who is the son of a mob boss, He's on the casino boat and he has a dynamic with Ruth. And I must say, Ruth is one of my favorite characters in Ozark. Her dynamic is unbelievable. It picks up with Marty and the family. And as we know, Marty and his family have this casino boat that they are running out there in the Ozarks on the river. And Marty is doing what he has to do. He's laundering everybody's money. He's been forced to do this. Well, they expand upon Wendy's character a little more this year because she has political backgrounds and she wants to invoke more power. So she has a plan that she wants to institute involving the casino boat with the cartel leaders that is gonna be doing another little underhanded thing, but it can also lead to legitimate money. And Marty basically slaps her down and says, hell to the no, we're not gonna add any more stress to what we're doing. They're asking their son Jonah to get a job. And he's like, dude, I'm making money mining Bitcoin and all this kind of technical stuff. And they don't either believe that it's a real job. So they basically want him to get out into the field, do some more work, do something that a traditional teenager would be doing. But he's like, nah, I ain't trying to feel that. And the daughter, Charlotte, as y'all know, she's kind of being the secretary for this family business. And she understands what her brother is going through. So you know what she does? And I thought it was real good to show that she's got love for her brother. She got her brother a drone, <laughs> a drone. And with him being a little tech savvy kid, he proposes to Marty and the family, let me use this drone to do security. At first they knocked that down, but I guarantee you they're gonna accept this proposal because that drone is definitely gonna be used throughout this season. They ain't introduced that high powered drone for nothing. And the son is probably gonna wind up having to save their ass again somehow, some way throughout the course of this season. And now, so most of, this, most of this episode we're going through with Wendy trying to still figure out how to get power with this plan that she has. And she kind of goes behind Marty's back. So as Marty is getting things revved up with the business of the casino, with his money and all that, they take us into the dynamic between Ruth and the mob boss's son being played by Joseph Secor. And they have this very cat and dog like rivalry going on because he wants her to be a little bit more cool. He thinks she's a bitch. And she's just kind of got her eyeballs up for anybody that can cause trouble for this business. 
And throughout this episode, we learned that her and the dynamic that one of her siblings has gone awry. Her damn sibling is staying at somebody's house and he's not supposed to be there eating their breakfast and cooking their food and all this kind of craziness. And he won't take any of the money that Ruth has been putting into this account. And his ass winds up going to jail. And then we see Darlene introduced into this episode and she's in like a, a baby class with other mothers who can't get their babies to latch onto the breast and suck the milk. And during that scene that was kind of funny, um, she kind of in essence put down this other mother and the other mother kind of claps back to her and just basically tells her, you don't understand my plight, you need to shut the hell up. Well, what does Darlene do when they leave out that class? She goes out there with the baby strapped to her chest, whips out a knife and stab that lady's tire right in front of the lady, goes to put the baby in the truck and is looking at the lady like, yeah, I did it, and what? So that lady reports to the police what Darlene did. Darlene is called into the police. It's basically a nothing burger. The police tells Darlene, look, lady, you're going to have to chill out. You can't be doing this type of stuff. And while Darlene is in there, Ruth comes in to try to bail out her sibling to no avail because he's not taking any money from Ruth. And so guess who decides to bail out the little brat? Darlene does. And I was like, man, here we go. Now he's going to be under the thumb of Darlene somehow, some way, because he, Darlene helped him get out of jail. And then we finally, at the very end, we see Navarro because Wendy goes to him with this plan she has to increase his revenue stream, to get a trust so that he can have money for his kids in the end, to help him out if he died and at first it seems like he's not trying to hear it, but guess what? He really is. At the end, we figured that out. One thing in this episode that I thought was funny is Wendy and Marty are supposed to be having couples counseling. And it seems as though that it is legitimate counseling. And then when Wendy leaves the room, we see Marty paying this woman funds as if she's an actor, she's not really and truly a counselor that she is supposed to be persuading these counseling sessions to go the way he wants it to go. And eventually, ladies and gentlemen, you know that this is gonna get caught. And in the very beginning, did you see how they had the family portrait the right way up? And by the end, they had it upside down, kind of the same way the Marvel Universe switches things upside down when things are going chaotic and awry in their stories. They've done the same thing in Ozark season three, episode one. And so now that we've got Ruth has kicked Joseph Secor in the nuts, then threw his ass off the boat, off the boat because she set up this casino poker tournament that she really put her heart and soul into. And he was in it acting like an ass, cussing and behaving badly. And she didn't want him at the table in the first place, but Marty basically told her, you need to let him be in on this. And she feels like, you know, we shouldn't be letting him in on it just simply because of the information he has on us. But they let him in anyway. And in true form, Joseph Secor, the actor, behaves badly and gets into this thing with Ruth and she throws him off the boat. What a way to kick off season three, episode one. And if I missed something that you felt like was really, really impactful in this episode, please drop your comments. I was glad to see it kick off this way and I can't wait to finish the series and I will be doing a review of each and every episode pretty much every other day as I go through them. That's gonna do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video. Please comment, subscribe, go get yourself that life game. Again, if you really like Ozarks, give me a hell yeah in the comment section of this video and until the next sexy as hell video. I'll see you.